This is a little video um, to everyone at Draw Cutting Press who is thinking about what type of lino cut tools they want to go out and buy. So um, when I started, I had one of those really horrendous um, beginner starter kits with this horrible hooky little gouge and a plastic red handle and uh, kind of wanted to kill myself. Uh, after using it for a while. So I actually went and um, did some research and um, bought some Swiss made tools uh, by a company called File. Um, and I absolutely love File. Um, they've got some great tools, really high manufacturing standard, uh, love them to bits. But I've also seen on things like Instagram and other channels, um, people using some other tools. So I thought, right, I'm gonna try these out. So. FlexCut are um, really, really widely used. I see them um, on loads and loads of different people's um, uh, channels, in, in the photos that they're taking of their work in progress, all that kind of jazz. So I thought I'd go for the micro set. They actually have more than this, but, uh, and also the mini palm set. So what I'm gonna do is, um, try them out on a little lino cut and I'll tell you um, what I reckon, um, whether I'd rate them, whether I wouldn't, what their strengths, weaknesses are, etc. So they come in these handy little boxes and ta-da! Took me a while to work out what that is but it's, um, it's got plasters in it in case you cut your finger. Right so we'll start with the micro palm set you can see here uh, there's four pieces in it um, and those are um, three u-shaped gouges um, i don't know a lot about these how they title these but um and one v-shaped gouge the v-shaped gouge um is one millimeter um uh, this more shallow fr802 is um two and a half mil uh, then it comes up to one and a half mil on the FR801 um, and the FR800 is a one mil um, neat little U-gouge. Looks like that would be pretty uh, good for um, uh, some, some fine details, which I absolutely love. So let's have a look at them then. So this one, see that? This one, if I can focus it, is, what's this? That is the V-shaped gouge. Let's see if I can get focused on that. Maybe, there we go. So that's the V-shaped gouge. Um, good for like sharp little pieces of detail. Um, uh, it looks pretty well made, to be honest. Um, sorry if that keeps going out of shot. Feels quite comfortable in hand, well made. Um, yeah, I mean, it's quite different to a file. I'll show you a file in a sec. Here's a file. So we've got a slightly different uh, shaped handle and a longer, thinner stem. And there's your uh, there's your flex cut next to it. Um, but in terms of the kind of accuracy and sort of fine point that they've got, it's, it looks at first glance just as good as a file. And the price is about the same. So anyway, looks all right. Handles kind of rams on there. It doesn't look as well kind of made, but that's irrelevant, frankly. It's not really going to make a difference to how it cuts. And then here is what's that? That is going to be the one mil U gouge. Super fine details you would be able to get 
with that nice uh, quick circular so it's softer rounded marks very detailed and then you can see that is the 1.5 again quite nice I've the file i've got some like that and i've really been liking them um i should probably do a com proper comparison between the two but anyway this is about flex cut so let's give them a fair go and that's the more shallow one that is the 2.5 mil. All right, so the micro palm set, for anyone like me who likes finer details, micro palm set, they're pretty good. And then you've got the mini palm set. Again, we've got a um, some plasters in case you cut yourself. And again, this has got three U's and one V. They're all a bit bigger. The V is three mil. Sorry, there you go, so you can see V is 3mm. Um, then you've got a 2mm uh, U shaped, you've got a flatter 3mm, and then you've got an almost completely flat 3mm, the FR600. Um, which I don't know how I feel about that, I have to try it out. Um, so that's a look. this is going to be your, that's your FR600. Right there, pretty flat, but I guess that could be quite good on um, some, you know, creating some kind of finer, sh sort of sharp edges where you need to kind of go around the edge. So for instance, my little knights here, if I wanted to go around the edge here, that might be quite good. And what's that? That is the 3mm FR601. God, it sounds like such a nerd. They could give them better names, couldn't they? Um, which, yeah, I mean, fairly comparable to some of the shallower uh, far ones I've used in the past. This is the V, I think. Yeah, that's the V shape gouge. Again, looks really, they look really good. I'm actually quite looking forward to trying them out. And then, what's that? That is the, oh, the FR602, a real crowd pleaser. Uh, that's a two mil U shape, anyway. Looks all right. So I'm guessing when you hold it, you're gonna hold it like that. Don't stab yourself in the finger. And if you do, thanks very much FlexCut because they've given us some handy first aid. Nice, right, let's try them out. Okay, so let's give some of these FlexCut tools a shot. I am going to Start with the mini set, the mini palm set. And let's begin. I'm just going to do some cuts along here so you can just see what type of mark they make. So we're going to start with the uh, U shaped 2mm FR602. Again, loving the naming convention. So this is a this bit of lino is reasonably fresh. Um, uh, so let's see, what's it like? Okay. Hmm. Pretty good. So you can see, pretty neat line there. Okay, so that is the U-shaped. Two mil. Now we're gonna do, what's that? This is the V, this is the three mil V. Are you ready? God, I can almost feel your excitement. Here we go. That's also quite nice. Um, you can see there, you got a really nice sharp point. That one, I managed to get a slightly shallower point because I went 
in more steeply and then out in a more shallow way. And if you can see that, so in more steep and out more shallow, get a really nice pointy mark like that. Loving it, flex cut. Right, okay, so this is the FR6013 mil. It's a real crowd pleaser as well, I'm sure. Let's see. Right, let's just pop that there. Right. Lovely. Nice and sharp, nice and smooth, no problems. Okay. And then, so you can hear my dog in the background growling at my housemate. And then we're gonna go for the uh, the flat A3 mil, the FR600. So let's see what we get with that. Oh, almost cocked that up there. That's a shallower, oh, I reckon you could get a nice kind of dappled water effect if you were doing like water with that. Anyway, so you can see there, I went, actually went too deep with that at first and it, and it went right under the liner and then it was going to rip it and I was going to lose the nice line. But sometimes you've just got to practice with these tools. That's the first time I used that one. So, you know, live and learn. So those are all pretty good. Now, let's try the micro set. These are the ones that I really want to show you. So let's begin with the V. This is a one mil V shape gouge. Lovely for like really fine details. If you were going to work into like shadows or um, you had some fine details here, like this guy's got chain mail, as all good knights in a jousting competition would. So I'm just going to do this against the uh, V-shape from the uh, mini palm set. And that is a super fine line. Really nice. If you push a bit harder, you get a slightly better one. Got to be careful when it's really fine though, because sometimes you can spend ages putting like loads and loads and loads of fine details in them and you print. Um, actually, it doesn't print that well, they don't show up. So you have to make sure you give it a bit of elbow grease. Um, but, that's not bad. I think horses for courses, isn't it? Like that one. Right. Then we have, like this. This one is right up my street. Then we've got, what are you? What are you? The FR800. So this is a really small one mil U-shaped gouge. Can you see that? Okay, again, always carve away from yourself so you don't cut yourself and need to use one of the plasters. That is the U-shaped gouge. That, again, really, really nice. Okay, then we come to the 1.5 mil U-shape, which again, I think is gonna be a real cracker. Lovely. You can see the difference. There's a slight difference there. 1.5, that's the one. And then I'm gonna try it. This is this has gotta be the 2.5 U-shape, more of a shallower gauge, uh, gouge, sorry. Can you see that? I can't see if that's working, there you go. So let's give that a shot. Oh, that's really nice. Love it. So, I would say they are pretty banging. Um, and they are definitely going to give the files a run for their money. It's a nice one, flex cut. It's 
Similar price, different look, maybe it suits different people holding it in their hand slightly differently. I think they actually are ergonomically well designed, although they might not look as uh, artisan as the very beautiful file tools. I mean, I'm always gonna have a place in my heart for these, I don't think they're going anywhere in my, from my toolbox, but variety is a spice of life and flex cut so far. So good. Let's cut this. Let's cut this out and see how we go. All right. Let's give these a shot. I'm going to use the start with a micro. One of the micros. I love a micro. Let's go with the. What's that? Get used to these. It's 1.5 U shaped. Do I want that? Let's try it. Is that it? Okay. Let's go. I normally do a V shape around the edge. Hmm. I don't want to go so deep. It's nice though, I mean, the edge is really crispy. Let's try a smaller one, that's the one, that's the one mil. Oh, steady, steady Eddie. That's not bad. Now I'm sorry, I'm switching up. I'm going to try a V shape. That one, that is so, that is such a fine line. I mean, that's banging. That's not the tool I want right now. So I'm going to go to the mini. Okay, mini. Not that one. That's the. That's, that. That's the two mil U shape from the mini. I'm going to try the V. Bring on the V. The big V. Right. V shape is what is that? That's not a one mil. That's the wrong one. So it's a three mil V. Let's see if we can get some nice edging. Oh, that's the badger. Hello. Yeah, now we're in business. That's great. That is très bien. As they say, some parts of the world. Great. Loving it. That's really, really good, actually. Got to give credit where it's due. It's like a part of me that sort of didn't want these to be as good as file. Which is a dreadful thing to say, isn't it? Sorry, flex cut. But they're pretty good. I mean, credit where it's due, these are excellent. I mean, if you were like me and you had that crap wooden handled gouge thing, all you'd want to do is gouge your own eyes out with it. 
you need to switch up. Get yourself some proper kit. They're expensive. I mean, these were basically, I have to do this in English. Oh, sorry, UK currency. Um, but these cost me, one set cost me 85 quid, I think. Um, and the other one was sort of a five or more for some reason, but that might have just been where I bought it from. Um, and their particular pricing, but you know, that's pretty much what it will cost you. Um, especially with postage and packaging and all that jazz. Um, but I'm getting around this pretty quickly and I have to say it's quite a pleasure to use these as you can see I mean I've got around that the edge of that horse pretty quickly um, with the V it was it was less, it was less, um, what's the word? Sort of clear cut or straightforward with, to get these types of edges with the, with the U-shaped gouge. But if you're the type of person that's not sort of doing blocks and you want to kind of get a dappled effect if it was like light hitting the ground through the leaves and branches of a tree or light refracting off of water or something like that then those u-shaped gouges are actually pretty good at sort of creating a variety of marks that give you that kind of natural light effect. So, you know, I mean, you probably see I can get right in there. Nice straight line, nice and sharp, wallop. Mm, fell off my line there. Oh no, mate, went off and blink and line. Sorry to all Australians out there, by the way. Didn't mean to do that. Lovely. Sort of overrun it there a little bit on that. On that edge. Might have to tidy that up. Let's try and tidy it up with the other v-shaped gouge and it's a lovely fine line this thing with line of cut that's kind of what i love about it when you cock something up you've cocked it up so funny thing to say with it isn't it but it just means that i don't know it's a craft Makes things count more. So around with that fine one. The fine one's a bit fine one's a bit harder to cut with, if I'm honest. I don't know if that's just me and being cat handed, but I suppose it's got more pressure against the finer cutting edge it still does a good job and I guess when you get into these kind of little finicky bits it's all good yeah not bad tricky little bit this is the thing that's 
can club this poor sod in the face. The jousting, I mean. Switch back to the bigger one. I quite like him. Oh yeah, he is good. So this is the V-shaped gouge from the mini set, not the micro set. Easy to easy to confuse it too. Um Start to just clear that space around my little character, my little salance of art. Other knights are available. Right, let's see if we can see what this one's like. What's that? That is, this is the micro set. That's got to be the two and a half mil, two and a half mil U-shaped gouge. Let's see if I can just clear this area with it. Don't cock it up, Davis. Lovely. Tend to use these bigger U shaped gouges just to do this sort of stuff. Clear this out the way. Apologise to Scottish people now for my terrible accents. Not bad. Pretty good. Our American friends make nice tools. God bless America. If you believe in all that. Lovely. Let's widen the gap around these. Ooh. Say for me, doubler. Okay. That's, that is pretty good. Liking that. Liking that. Right. Um, I've got to use some of the other ones, haven't I? So this is micro set, um, one mil U. I've already used this guy. I don't know. Let's use a bit on on this chap on his sort of cheek of his helmet, fine helmet. Oh. He just sort of slip a little bit. These little U's. Like I said, I think it's just, you just got to get used to the things. These. But it feels really nice in the hand. I think if I steady my wobbly hand with my finger just here, that kind of helps.
But you could do, you know, if you're a bit looser, you can do a bit of more expressive stuff with it. So that's pretty good. There we go. Leave a little bit of shadow in there. I can tidy that up later. Um, Okay, I'm going to go back to the V. I really like this V. And just to remind you, that is the V from uh, the mini set, not the micro set, that I'm currently using quite a lot, apparently. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I really like this tool. I mean, even if you're just going to go and buy one, you don't want to fork out for a whole set. You could do a lot worse than getting a FR603 3mm V shape. Sorry again for my stupid voices. Yeah, nice. Love it. Love it, love it. Love it. This guy's a clear winner at the moment. SV shape. Do you want to keep trying some of the others though? So that, I'm back to the flat sort of U shape gouge from the from the micro set. Oh, that doesn't make it easy for you, does it? Um, Try some of these other ones in the micro set. Okay. That's all right. See, I'm going to go back to it again. I just want to make sure I've got a nice edge there. And this V-shaped gouge is great for that. So I can ensure I've got that cut. Nicely. Left me line a bit too wide there. And I can bring it down there and then back to this U shape one. Maybe I'll leave that texture on his helmet. Quite like that. See, that's the other thing that's quite nice about. Just playing with tools like this, you know, you end up making marks. You didn't even, I didn't draw that. But I quite like it, so I'm going to leave it. That is how the cookie crumbles. Um, yeah, banging. Right, I'm mixing all these up now, so I don't know which tools are in which. But, um, but I could bore you forever, and I'll send some pictures that I've done 
a bit there. You can see you've got real nice, clear accuracy with that V shape. The U's are good, but I feel like the smaller ones, I'm slipping a little bit, but I think that's just me. And I think that, you know, if I just go in this area here and I can play around with it, do some trial marks, try some different things, you know, you get some lovely marks out of that. Lovely, you know. I was like to just muck about and just try different things. And I think I've got to give these a good rating. I'd say for any, I mean, anyone upgrading from those crappy starter set tools that people should be uh, not allowed to sell is going to be delighted with a set of these. They are lovely. So well done, Johnny Good Flex Cut, made in the USA. Um, fab fabulous. Donald will be proud. Um, so, yeah, I just think I just think they're 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 well worth the money. I mean, the the enjoyment you get out of using decent tools. Um, money can't money can't money can't buy, can it? So there you go. We've got flex cut. That's a thumbs up. Can you see that? Thumbs up flex cut. Um, you've done us proud there. Um, I'm not going to say w whether it's better or worse than file. I just think they're different. Um, and I think they're both brilliant. So um, if you're someone who's got files and you're thinking of trying something different go for it i think they'll be a great addition to your tool set um if you don't have a file or any proper type of cutting tool and you're just thinking about whether it's worth the investment yes it is so go for it and have fun and um make sure that you don't cut yourself and have to use those but if you do thanks flex cut Give me some sticky plasters too. Um, there you go. That's it. I'm sure I've bored uh, YouTube half to death with that one. Unless you're a major lino cut uh, nut like me. Um, so yeah, thanks very much. Check out the website, subscribe, follow me on Instagram. And I'll speak to you all soon. Ciao.